today we are going to teach you how to make GFXs like this. So I was actually recording before, but I messed up, guys. The recording went terrible. So I'm just going to make a new one. I barely got time left. I only got 30 minutes. But let's go. So first you're going to need Roblox Studio. And once you have Roblox Studio, you have to click on stop well you're already gonna be on the start page and then you have to click on base plate so then once you're there um if you already have a thing just load up in that so i already have a thing so as you can see i already went through a tutorial but the corner went bad so i'm just gonna do a new one so let's just use this again but i, I recommend you to use load character gui so you just click on um you click on that Link's gonna be in the description. Then do that, and then do um, your username. So you just do that, and then spawn R6. So mine's gonna be right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that was close. Okay, so you just move it around. Then you have to right click on your thing, and then type in group test two okay so you just do that and then right click on your thing and then click on export selection and then save it as there I'm um, if you I recommend you having like your own folder for these guys so as you can see I got all these and then so then you just save it so test two and then you click on save so then once that's saved you go to your home page I'm gonna put blender in the description so 3d view I'm just gonna exit out of this okay and then you click on blender links in the description download that so then you're gonna be in this world so how you move guys is you click on sh if shift on your keyboard and then F then you're gonna be moving so then if you want to delete stuff you do x delete and then right click on other stuff x delete if you want your thing to be light then you keep this if you don't want it to be light then you x delete it but i'm not going to x delete it so then you click on file follow my cursor guys import and then wait for an obj and then you do um gfx's and then you find your test 2 okay obj you find your thing you gotta find it in your folder then you gotta find it so it's all the way over there i hate when that happens so then you just go up to it and then you're gonna see that it's gray and then you won't like that so you click on material up if you follow my code so this little ball up there and then you, material and then you want to click on the earth and then you have to click on environment lighting and then indirect lighting so then if you like it then you like it so then if you want to if you want let's get into the editing so if you want to make your stuff good or stuff like that you got to click on your arm but you got to right click on your stuff first so you got to right click on it then you got to click on it and then set origin and then origin to 3d cursor so then um i'm gonna be like this so you can if you want to detail it and stuff so i'm just gonna do this and then make sure you click on the bend tool it'll be down there where i just clicked right here and then you just do that so then gonna be having that and then I'm gonna be having my thing to bend so I do that and then you're gonna see that looks kind of weird so then you just make it don't look weird like fix it so just see how you like it I don't really know I like it that like that Wait, I kind of, wait, hold up, guys. 
There we go. I like it like that. Okay. So then you're like this, and your thing's gonna be like this. So it, when you wanna detail it, and then you just keep on detailing, guys. So like, if I want my legs to move, again, click on it. Set origin 3D cursor, and then be like that. Then make sure you click on it too. If you want to detail it. Okay, so I like it like that. So I'm just gonna keep it like that, and then. Do the other leg, set origin, origin to 3D closer, and then do that. Why well, I'm such in a hurry, guys, is because I already recorded this, and I was, like, already recording for 16 minutes, but didn't work, turn out so well. So, then you're going to have this, guys. So, once you render it, guys, if you want to render it, then you got to right-click. Um, If you want to do it the fast way, then... Well, I'm just going to do the, the original way, for, guys, first. So, you just click on this, and then sh and then hold shift, guys. And then right-click all of your stuff. Make sure to right-click all of your stuff. Oh, shoot. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So, you got to right-click all of your stuff, guys. Eye patch and everything. And then, your eye patch... The last thing you select will disappear. So, watch this. You click on View, Cameras, Set Active Object as Camera. So, that will be the eye patch because it's highlighted in yellow. So, then you do that. Go back to your character. Oh, man. We got to go all the way there. Okay. So, once it's there, there we go. Okay. So, your eye patch is going to be gone. So, that. You can't really do anything about that. So, you do um, active camera, and then you do history, undo. And then your eye patch is going to be still there because you undoed it. That's like your history, so you can do all that stuff. So then, how you actually want to render it, and you want your whole character, is you got to right-click on your certain tool. So, I'm just going to do my cursor hold shift and D so that's duplicate and then this is what you're gonna be active object is so then you do camera set object active object as camera but why did I spawn so far away oh my god this is far away than the others so then and no one nothing will disappear so then you're gonna be good so if you want to go back guys well, if you want to render it first, so here's your character. You just position it where you want. So if you want it like this, then this is what you're going to be rendered. If you want it transparent, click on shading, trans, I mean sky, and then transparent. And then you want it to be transparent. So then you click on the camera and then render. Then your thing's going to be rendered. So, as you can see, it's like this. And then, if you like it like this, if you don't like it, then if you don't like this, then you click right here, 3D view, and then you're going to be back. And then you can pos position your ca camera more. If you want to get out of this, again, view cameras, active camera, and then you're going to be out. And then you can edit stuff. So, I'm, I, I'm fine like this. So, then once you want to save, you click on image save as image and then you want to go to your folder so I'm just gonna do that and then test two. save as image and then there you go so that will be your GFX so first I just want to go to it because you know me so my GFX pictures my folder and then where is it test for YouTube there we go so there it is. There's the GFX we just made. So, as you can see... Wait, that isn't the GFX. I mean, test 2. There we go. That's the GFX we just made. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, guys. This is actually pretty dope. Made a GFX. So, now you guys can make GFXs of your own. So, if you guys want to add a background to it... um. I will just guide you to it. 
So first of all, guys, if you want to do it on Paint.net, oh, whoops, you guys got open Paint.net again. I'm just gonna use Paint.net for this video, and then you can add a background to it. Okay, Paint.net, Camille, and then let's say, um, let's say you want to walk on a road. Just hold up till it loads. Sorry if it's being slow, guys. I'm just gonna pause it till we get in the Paint.net thing. Okay, sweet, it loaded. Let me just close Epic Games Launcher. There we go. So now you do file on Paint.net, open, and then you go select your folder, and then you go select your thing. So test two, there we go, and then there we go. So then you want to add a new layer, put it behind there, and then you gotta search up. Gotta sorry if I if I shown that. I don't really care though. Okay, so you, then you just type in. I wanna be. I want it to be on a road. Oh shoot! Why did I search up type? Wow. I mean road. So then you just click on road images, and then I guess this road looks kind of fine. I'm just gonna choose this one. Then you copy that. Paste it. Keep canvas size if it's too big, guys. And then, come on. Load, please. There we go. So then you just move it. So, I'm going to be walking right there. There we go. That looks kind of cool. And then if you want to add a shadow, guys, you can do that. So, so then you just do... You use the lasso tool up here. Lasso. Let's just go back. And then you click on lasso. Then, if you want to add a shadow, this will be your shadow, guys. And then there you go. So, if you, you if it's black and white like that, you can do this. And then this is going to be a trans, trans thing, I think. There we go. Okay, then you click on gradient, and then this will be a shadow. I need this to be black too. There we go. Okay. Then this will be. This will be a thing. So then you're gonna have a shadow like that. Sorry if it's bad, guys. Um. So, yeah. Then you're going to have a shadow like that. And if you want to save, save. Select your folder again. Click on, if it's PDN, click on PNG. Find your thing. So, test two. And then, yes. Okay, flatten. And then, there you go. So, you got your GFX here ready to go. Let's just this again and then here you go your gfx so yeah guys if you like this video please leave a thumbs up it means a lot to me subscribe if you're new and once again stuff will be in the description and yeah guys peace out